Hi, my name is Yolanda and in this series I share my adventure in Puglia. I'm going to select one of Italy's biggest treasures, a Mugese horse. The Mugese is an ancient horse breed named after the rocky hills of the Murgia, the place where Holy Roman Emperor Frederick II started to breed war horses in the 1200s. The horse I select will be the first Mugese to fly to the United States of America. I'm a Dutch Italian horse professional and grew up in the Netherlands. Because of my southern Italian roots, I've always been fascinated by this Italian horse breed. Many years ago, I selected my own Mugese in Puglia. I saw the broke and schooled him myself. You might have heard of him. His name is Carletto. He became the world's first Grand Prix Mugese horse, competing in the highest level of the sport. Now let's go to Puglia to find another top horse. For those of you who do not know where Puglia is, Puglia is one of the richest archaeological regions, located in the heel of Italy. It is the place to be if you are looking for a Mugese horse. I was a bit nervous to fly because I experienced a lot of turbulence with my last flight. When I landed safely on the ground, I promised myself to never ever fly again. But here I am in a plane going in the air again. Thankfully I survived the flight and I landed safely in Puglia and I was so, so happy. But more drama was coming up. I could not reach the Mugese farms without a car because they are all in the countryside and often in the middle of nowhere. I prepaid the rental car in the Netherlands with EasyTerra, but my visa was not accepted in Italy. There I was, stuck in the airport. No rental car for me. After a lot of drama and hours of waiting in the airport, we got another rental car. It's uh, just... just not nice. My arrival in Puglia felt like a cold shower, in all senses. <laughs> and uh, it's nearby the uh, airport, I think one hour from the airport, one of the old cities of uh, Puglia. It is on the route to this uh, Mugese farm, so yeah, I am still, uh, still have to let go of the, the rental car drama. I hope uh, the rest of the, the trip is going to be uh, good and I find uh, a top horse. Monopoly is of Greek origin. In the late 6th century AD, Monopoly gave shelter to the inhabitants of the nearby city Egnatia that was destroyed by King Totila. Not Totilos, but Totila. Oh, you're well. Oh, kijk eens hoe lief. Voilà, and there are there, wie is that? going to my husband. After a delicious plant-based pasta, I felt reloaded and ready to see the first Mujay's horses of this trip. On our way we saw kilometers of olive trees and I really really love them. Some of these trees are more than 1000 years old, some even older than that. These olive trees are one of the important treasures that Puglia carries. Between the olive trees we saw another treasure of Puglia, Mugese horses. The blue Roman broodmare you see here in this shot is called Lubiana di San Paolo. 
She is family of my stallion Carletto. She has a lot of shoulder freedom and passes this on to her offspring. The first Mujese that was presented to us was Soldano. My client is looking for a one or two years old blue Roman stallion. So in this series this is what we are going to look at. We are going to see a lot of Mujese babies. <laughs> Soldano is a one year old son of Zosio. Adesso i Rovani sono la più bella. Sì, in questo momento sono sono chiari, sono molto chiari. Anche il mio. This is Schindler. He is also a one year old. He is a son of the blue rowan mare you saw before, Lubiana di San Paolo. Schindler's father is Onassis. The father of Onassis is Zosio, who is also the father of Soldano. Wees maar niet bang, ik zit hier gewoon op mijn hurken. It's a bit afraid, because suddenly I'm sitting here. And this is the first one they showed, and this is the second one. Two stallions, both uh, one year old. Very sweet eyes, this one. They also showed this three-year-old stallion, but he was too old for my client. Impressionante. Sì, sì, è un buon... Allora, quello sta a Foggia, questo sta a Foggia, Globo e Fango stanno a Foggia. The owner of this Mugese farm has won many prizes with breeding stallions for the Mugese stoop book. Uh, I really liked uh, the first one, the lightest one. Very, because he had a very sweet eye. The other one had uh, yeah, better uh, movements, but the energy of the other one was just uh, much better. If I had to choose myself, I would go for the sweetest one, because I think um, you can better have a, a sweet, kind horse that has a good energy around than a spectacular horse that has a, yeah, 
I, it's very difficult to judge it at such a short moment, but the second one, uh, yeah, I have very good movement. I think it would be a great uh, breathing stallion, but I think it is, uh, he's going to be less easy to handle. Yeah, and uh, I would not make my life so difficult with uh, a very difficult, yeah, with really a stallion stallion. You have stallions and you have stallion stallions, and it was really very much a stallion. Yeah, that was a short feedback from this uh, tool. But uh, yeah, I saw also the mother of the second one, very good mother. With these two very talented Mujeze foals in my head, we went to the city center of Martina Franca to eat something. We are at Martina Franca and my horse Carletto is born here. <laughs> and we are going to eat something here. Martina Franca is an important place for the Mujese horse. In 2012, I have visited the Mujese Horse Museum at the riding school of the State Forestry Force in Martina Franca, a beautiful place where they only use Mujese horses to serve the country and keep their heritage alive. It's nice to see that the children can play outside this time of the evening. Ready? We are back to the back and breakfast. And there is like a Concert going out. Birds, it's very nice. And that's why this bed and breakfast was called. Casa degli Uccellini, the bird house. Oh man, I'm so tired. I had a lot of uh, messages, really. I could have went all day to see Mujeses, but unfortunately uh, they are all black Mujeses because the Roa Mujese is much more rare. So it's much more difficult to find uh, to find one, and then also it has to be the right uh, gender and the right uh, uh, age. So uh, this makes the selection already much smaller. But I found some other uh, Rohan Mujeses that I'm going to to see tomorrow. I will bring you along with me again. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't. Forget to subscribe to my channel and I'm going to my bed and I see you in the next video.